Da na na na, da na na na, da na na na. Edgar TV. How do there, guys, and welcome back to Edgar TV. And today we're going to do another one of these sort of videos. So I'll put them around the screen in different places. I've done players that's never beat Michael Van Gogh in. I've done players that's never beat this. I've done my most five painful defeats, my five most happy victories. All sorts of different videos and lists and things that look at dark stats. And one of the most common things that came up for me is people saying, can you do one on Phil Taylor? That's what we're going to do today. We're going to look at people that have the biggest success rates against Phil Taylor. Now, interestingly, when we look at the stat, now, the rules of the game, by the way, guys, is they have to have played them at least twice in a ranked competition. So beating the player once doesn't count. It's got to be at least twice in a ranked competition to count. Phil Taylor does not have a negative record against any player. There is not one single player that Phil Taylor has played more than once that he hasn't beaten. That's incredible. Michael Van Gogh is currently on two. If you want to see that, the video is... Um, in the description below, Glenn Durant has since beat him since making that video. Um, there's a couple of honourable mentions here. 44%. Rod Harrington, 44% wins. Michael Van Gogh in 44% wins. The closest anybody has to a positive record against Phil Taylor is 50-50. That is incredible when you think about the amount of games Phil Taylor played over the amount of years. 50-50 is the closest anybody has got to him. That is held by... Jeffrey does one. Played each other twice. One to Taylor. One to Jeffrey does one. Russell Stewart. It's a new name on me, that. One, one. Scott Waits. Played twice. One each. Jamie Bain. Played twice. One each. Ted Hankey. Played twice. One each. There are two players, though, that have played more than twice that have a 50-50 record against him. Corey Cadby. Played Phil Taylor four times. Beat Phil Taylor twice. Lost to Phil Taylor twice. But the very top of that record. Played Phil Taylor eight times. And has a 50-50 record. This is the best record anybody in history has had against Phil Taylor. Eight matches. Played four. Played eight. Won four. Lost four. Who do you think it is, guys? I'm just going to pause for a couple of seconds here, just so you can have a think. Hit the pause button if you need any more. I'm going to give you three seconds. Three. Peter Everson. But you didn't see that one coming. Peter Everson, um, former World Match Play champion many years ago, for each with Phil Taylor, has the best head-to-head -head record of anybody in ranked matches against Phil Taylor. Very impressive there for Phil Taylor, but what do you expect from a man that won 16 world champions? Is there anyone you would like to know the stats of? If there is, let me know in the comments section below. Did you get it right? Did you know it was Peter Everson? If you did, let me know in the comments section below. I probably won't believe you, but, you know, put it there anyway. And if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. If you're not new around here, hit the like, and we'll see you tomorrow for another darts-related video. TV. And if you are enjoying Edgar TV, you guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the Edgar Nation and stay up to date with all the latest Edgar TV.